Hey, this is Linda Ferguson from NLP Canada Training with another in our series of video shorts on storytelling for influence. In this short, I would like you to look around at this beautiful park I'm standing in. We're in Stanley Park in Vancouver, British Columbia. I'm standing amid really large old trees with the waves of the ocean striking the shore behind me. It's a magical place great place to just stop and listen. So when I listen here, I can hear the sounds of children playing, the sounds of the waves on the shore, the sounds of bird calling, the sounds of the trees. It's really a rich environment for listening and it's a great place to encourage you to think about how you listen to the stories other people are telling you. All day, every day, Someone is telling you stories, stories about their day, about their relationships, about their work, about the project that you are working on together. We have an endless stream of stories in our lives and it can be really hard to pay attention. I bet you found yourself at different times in the day, on the phone or across the table from somebody, realizing that you are listening with only half an ear to what they are saying. And when this happens, you're missing an opportunity to be really influential in two different ways. First thing is that we all pay attention to how other people are paying attention. We don't know we're doing it, we think we are tracking our stories. But if you track interaction, you will see that if as a listener, you pay more attention to part of the story, the teller will sort of relax and go looking for more detail to make that part of the story richer and more compelling to be able to linger there and enjoy your full attention. And if there are places where you sort of drift off, the story will start to drift too. It will lose focus, it will lose detail, and uh, you might get some whininess or some negativity sort of creeping into the tone. You might think that is the teller's fault, but that is actually part of the relationship that you have with the teller. So if they don't like the quality of attention they're getting from you, they're not going to tell you that. But that kind of dislike or discomfort will find its way into the story. So what you pay attention to actually changes the story that somebody else is telling. The way they experience their own story is different because you're listening. And that's one of the reasons, as human beings, we love to tell stories. Because just the act of telling them to a listener changes what we know about ourselves. Now, if you want to be understated in your influence, if you want to be respectful and have a light touch, the best way to influence is with the quality of attention you pay as you listen. And in our next video, talk to you about the other way that listening to stories gives you information that allows you to have an ethical, respectful relationship where influence is likely and where the influence that you have is likely to be good for the person you are influencing and good for you. I'm Linda Ferguson in this beautiful park wishing you a beautiful